Hello everyone, this is Robeck here from Programming Tips and Tutorials.blogspot.com and today's tutorial is about writing data to an XML using VB.net. So let's start uh, a new project and uh, let's call it Write XML. So our pro our project is a Windows form application uh, using Visual Basic. Uh, language so that's it okay this is our form right here so let's just rename it to write XML let's just add a button that will tr trigger our code let's dock it to fill because I will not add anything more I'll just explain the basics of writing in XML then you can just take it to the next level with I in your application um, so let's save it okay let's go to, sorry let's go to the code and uh, to, to teach you uh, how to write a XML I I created a situation that can happens to you or can happen to you or not I will develop your application. That is, I have a folder here uh, full of images. In this case, it's images from South Park uh, episodes. Um, and I want to list all of these images in XML, for instance, to use in a web application. And I don't want to write, uh, in this case, 48 items by hand uh, in my XML or in my d database. Uh, so, I will create a program, a, si a simple program that that will check this directory, get the li the list of files in there, and write them in into a XML. So, first of all, to write an XML, we need to add a data table. A data table is like a structure that contains data. Uh, that allows you to write that data uh, directly into an XML. So let's create a data set. Now let's call it dataset.images. Then we need to go to tables collection and add a table. Let's leave it table 1 and we need to add columns to that table 1. So let's add the first column and I will call it counter this column will keep the count uh, the count number of uh, each picture and let's add another one that it will be called file name that um, will be keeping the file name of each picture so with this done let's get back to the code and uh, uh, we need to to start by defining um, two strings uh, you can do it other way in your application you can do it with a folder browser dialog or something I will just uh, I will just create two strings with the the URL from for the image directory in the URL to save the XML so I'll just create images dear a string equals to it's easier to come here and copy okay and dim xml did a string equals and let's just copy this part and save it to the desktop okay we have our directory set so um, it's just uh, for for precaution. I usually uh, shit. I usually in the in the beginning of the the code I clean uh, every data in the data table. Do I do this because if you click th the button uh, two times, if you don't clean. Uh, the table every time it will just 
keep adding the folders and you will have like two times the, the, the files in the folder three times the time the files in the folder and s for that let's just clean so to work with that table we, we write dataset underscore uh, images dot tables and table one this is the name of the table and then we just hit clear first time and uh, uh, to start w writing data to the XML we need to get that uh, list of files inside the folder so for that we're gonna need to create here uh, a string array that will hold that uh, image list let's call it image list it's like that to be a string array and that image list is going to be equals to and uh, another thing to use uh, the directory uh, predefined functions uh, we need to import something here that is import uh, system dot io so this way we can use this function that is directory uh, dot get files and we just give him the images dir and okay so right now we got the images image list containing all the images in the folder so now we just need to dim here some string called file name as string and our counter as integer and we can do uh, for each file name in image list file name we can uh, do counter pulls equals one and we can then add uh, this to the, the table which, which is means is uh, it will run image list uh, all image list uh, strings containing each file uh, name and for each one of them it will write them into our data table so let's just copy here so I'm gonna do uh, rows dot add uh, new new object open this and here we're gonna insert counter that will keep incrementing uh, along with the files this way we're gonna have file 1 equals to something file 2 equals to something and here we're gonna write file name and we just need to close it here so this way we add into our data set e table each one of the file names of the files in the directory um, so right now the only thing missing to do is write into the XML write into the XML we just need to give him the XML dir and um, this XML dir does not contain the final s slash so we're gonna add a slash and we're gonna uh, choose a name for our XML. In this case is gonna be like images.xml. And after that we're gonna add XML write mode dot ignore schema. Uh, this uh, using uh, this write mode ignore schema uh, it will keep our XML file much cleaner if we don't ignore the schema or added like full schema it will um, our XML will be full of configurations and and stuff uh, and if we ignore schema we'll just have the data there much more cleaner uh, to see 
So I think w we got this uh, ready, so let's give it a try. So write XML and it should appear some XML into the desktop. Okay, we got an error. Okay, we got an error because um, I wrote tables 1 instead of table 1. So let's get this correct and give it a try again. So we can close this and let's give it a try. Write XML. Um, and we got here. Uh, let me just take this away. We got here some images.xml. Let's check it out. And we got here counter1 baby.jpg counter2 bigal.jpg counter3 bradley.jpg counter4 chief.jpg so we got here for all the 47 pictures in that folder so the tutorial was pretty much it I hope uh, it helps if you have any question just post on the blog or on the YouTube channel I'll be glad to answer it and uh, I hope you enjoyed and I see you next time.